Hello my beautiful Hans. I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Belle Michelle. I do videos around fashion and travel and then occasionally I will sprinkle in anything else that I feel like. So I have a very exciting video for you guys today. This video is in collaboration with Warehouse and Oasis Fashion so thank you so much to both for collaborating with me and thank you to you guys for engaging with my content here on YouTube, on Instagram and any other social platforms that I'm on. I would not be able to collaborate with brands that I love and already shop at if it wasn't for you. So a big, 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 massive thank you to you. So in this video today, I'm going to be giving you tips on how you can add some colour into your autumn winter wardrobe. In my recent autumn winter fashion edit week, I did a video on how to look classic and expensive and a portion of that video was dedicated to how to add colour into your wardrobe. Now I know a lot of people shy away from colour because they think that it's too bright, it's too bold, it can look sometimes tacky, it doesn't look classy, but I am here to tell you that colour can look classy, it can look exquisite and yes it is bold, you will stand out. I think everyone should want to stand out, I mean who would want to blend in? But if you do, I also have some colour tips for you in this video. So because we are in autumn, well we're actually transitioning into winter now, the first thing that anyone is going to see, even probably before they see your face, is going to be your coat and your outerwear and that is the perfect place where you can inject a bit of colour. Now I know traditionally people like to go for black because it's a neutral colour, I just think black is so so boring. Oh I'm sorry if there's anyone here who loves black, I just think it's so boring. There are other colours in the rainbow that can still be very very neutral, that you can get a lot of wear out of and that you can pair with a lot of different outfits in your wardrobe. One of those colours is actually blue. So I picked up this gorgeous blue coat from Oasis. Now this is a warm mixed blend so it will definitely keep you warm but it is in this beautiful rich royal blue colour and I think it's perfect. Blue is another colour that is more on the dark side and can be paired with a lot of different colours. It can be paired with a lot of bright colours, it can be paired with a lot of neutral colours like camels. You can even pair blue with black. Particularly this shade of blue would definitely go with black. It would also go with a lot of brown. The thing that I really like about this particular coat as well is that because it's a bit oversized and it has this balloon sleeve effect you can actually wear this as a coat dress we have jumper dresses but have you ever heard of a coat dress no okay well it's a new thing I'm sure someone I'm sure someone must have mentioned that before but yes adding a pop of color with your coat I think is a great way and blue is definitely a color that you can go for because it goes with a variety of different colors and also in this classic silhouette you'll definitely look very very classy and very very expensive and very very elegant now if you're thinking mm, I don't really want to inject a pop of color with my coat because I'm trying to get a lot of use out of my coat which is why a lot of people go for black so that they can pair it with a lot of different options how about going for a camel color or a tan color camel or tan is a perfect alternative to black I think that's the reason why there was a period in time when I think everyone had a camel coat and I can understand it I believe everyone needs a camel coat in their wardrobe because similar to black it goes with everything it's a neutral color it goes with a lot of different skin tones as well and it just flatters everyone so I have this camel coat from Oasis and the great thing about this coat is it actually looks like a dupe for um, some of the iconic Ted Baker coats. I will put a picture here but there's a lot of similarities like for instance the gold hardware also the gold trimming on the edge of the wrap. This is also made from wool meaning that it will definitely keep you warm and it's a coat that you can take for day, for work wear or for evening and it's another coat that you can also use as a coat dress because of the way that it's made it will give you a bit of thigh slip. You guys know I feel like I say this in every video and I need to stop but I love a bit of thigh action. If you love a bit of thigh action like I do pop a um, blue colored heart in the comment section below this coat is absolutely gorgeous it is more of a structured coat rather than an oversized coat and I think that is another way when you're trying to inject color into your wardrobe using your coat get a structured coat I know some people like the oversized looks but oversized bright colored coat don't really look classic they look gorgeous there is a yellow Prada one that is on my radar and if I had all the money in the world I would definitely purchase it but they don't look classic although they do look bold. So if you're going to get any bright colours, get them in the structured silhouettes or even if you want a bit of a oversized fill, then get it in the balloon structure that I showed in the previous uh, blue coat. Now another way you can add colour into your wardrobe is through your leathers. So don't just go for those 
black or brown leathers go for those tan leathers maybe if you don't want to go all out or bright how about going for a peach leather so i have this peach skirt that i got from oasis i think it's coming up very orange on the camera just because of my light but it is definitely more of a peachy sort of color it's made from leather and it is so gorgeous amazing quality this skirt is such amazing quality everything from the skirt color to the buttons to the silhouette it has that sort of hourglass silhouette so we'll stitch you in at the waist and this for someone like me who likes a lot of color is what i would consider a colorful neutral because it can go with an array of different colors such as blues or greens it can even go with black if you want to wear it with black now i actually have another top in this haul i want to pair with this and it's this top right here which is another example of how you can inject some color so instead of just going for one block bold color you can add it with prints like this and although this is a floral print it is a very autumnal winter print because it's in those pinks those oranges it has those blues but the base color is black now this is made in this very lovely velvet material that feels so so soft and you guys know that i don't really like turtlenecks however i do like this neckline here because it doesn't restrict my neck area and once again i just think the print is so perfect for autumn and winter you have those autumnal leaves i just really like the print and it's a mature print as well it's not too young or youthful unless you like those sort of prints but i think going for a more mature print will help you look a bit more classic adding color through your tops is such a great way of injecting some color into your wardrobe the next top i have is this mesh one and this has a very funky detail the great thing about this top is i think i can wear it all year round it has those black detailing so if you are more of a neutral girl you can pair it with black and i would actually pair this with black i have this beautiful leather black skirt from zara and i think this would go really really well with it and then i would throw over that blue coat that i just showed you guys so it's a colorful outfit but still looks very classic because the skirt is in this very classic midi style silhouette and then the top you're fully covered even though it's mesh and the coat is in a very classic silhouette as well now the last thing i got from asos well, wait no no not asos oasis is this gorgeous maroon colored lace dress if you guys remember i purchased this exact same dress in my spring summer 21 um fashion edit week if you don't know what my fashion edit week is it's a week over here well it's two weeks over here on my channel one in spring and summer one dedicated to spring and summer fashion and one dedicated to autumn and winter fashion where i upload every day everything to do with that season's fashion and i always try to do it near the beginning of the season because i truly believe some of the best outfits and best items come out in the beginning but anyway back to this gorgeous dress so yes i purchased it in white so when i saw that they had it in this maroon color i said i absolutely have to get it now this maroon color similar to the blue that i showed you it's a color that is very very autumnal very very winter and it's a way that you can add color to your wardrobe i would consider this an alternative neutral to black people might think that i'm really really coming for the color black but the reason why i keep on speaking about it is because i know that for a lot of people that is their safe color especially for autumn winter they will just go directly to black because it's neutral it's a dark color autumn winter is dark but you don't have to do that to yourself especially if you live in the uk where it is gloomy and do me in autumn and winter you need some color in your wardrobe okay it will lift up your spirits i don't know about you guys but the fact that it's getting dark by 4 p.m it's really messing up my life i know that's very drastic but it is like it really really is next we're going to go to warehouse i always recommend that everyone needs a good quality pair of knee-high leather boots and the go-to color once again for most people would be black however i think the browns and the tan colors are a better alternative than even going further from the browns and the tans is having them all in one boot so i picked these up from warehouse and they are stunning firstly they have this unique tapestry detail and i think they would go really really well with literally any color actually i wouldn't pair this with like yellow yeah maybe not yellow but definitely with blacks with beiges with blues they would pair so well and because they have this tapestry unique design i think it's very very bold you've got your tans you've got a bit of orange you've got a bit of suede you've got this faux croc the boots are literally just going to do the talking for you i imagine they will also be quite comfortable because of the heel height i actually have a jumper dress and do you see how perfectly these two would pair together a light neutral and and then you have more of a dark neutral and i just think they'll be very cute together jumper dresses are another thing that everyone needs in their autumn winter wardrobe because one they'll keep you warm really really stylish and really really simple and if you get them in a lot of different variations then you can have one for going out you'd have one for day to day you can have ones with a v just there's so many different varieties of jumper dresses but the most most important thing is that they will keep you so so warm now this next item might scare some of you guys who don't wear a lot of color but that's the reason why i'm introducing it further along in the video and it is this very very beautiful color blocked 
cardigan now firstly cardigans are a must for autumn and winter because you can get so much wear out of them you can wear them as a cardigan or you can wear them as a top another thing i really like about this one is that it has this really lovely crystal detail buttons but yes yeah, so this is in this orange and purple color and i know it's very very bright but after all those tips that i've given you guys you guys have now graduated to bright color status okay now the way that you can incorporate this into your wardrobe is i would say with this sort of color pairing it with some light denim or even if you don't like denim pairing it with leather now it can be a neutral leather it can even be a black leather but when you have one item that is very very bright in order to make it look classic i would say either have a monochromatic look so as in everything else i wear will either be orange or purple or everything else has to be neutral and that will just pull it together and make it look very very classic very very chic but very very bold and you'll definitely stand out i really really like this cardigan i think this cardigan is like my favorite thing in this entire oh the dress the dress mm -hmm. the dress but i love love this cardigan and then last but by absolutely no means least i have a dress that is sort of similar to the one i'm wearing now but it's in this sequin color so this is going to be perfect for the party season and like i said before patterns and prints are a really good way of adding color to your wardrobe this isn't really color this is more of a neutral i would pair this with a very bold colored shoe so for example i have these really beautiful lime green mules that i got from mango in summer and i would pair them with this or even a bright blue color anything like this i would add the pops of color with my accessories so with my bags or my shoes because that way you're still in your comfortable neutral wardrobe but then you have those added pops of colors with your accessories so those are all the items that i got i really really hope that this video was helpful i will have all the items linked in the description bar below so if there's anything that you want to pick up definitely click below i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribed already i think you should subscribe you've got to the end of the video you like me by now subscribe also click the bell and have your post notifications turned on so that you never miss an upload if you enjoyed this video i think you might like this video here or possibly this video here click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you i hope you have a good morning evening afternoon or whatever time you're watching this video and i'll see you all in my next one bye hans <laughs>